earlier lesson, I showed you the equate directive, which can be used to define a constant. There is another way to do it, one that may seem more familiar to you. You can use the preprocessor define directive the same as you can in C. One big difference, you cannot change the definition of an equate, and you can replace the meaning of the define with another define directive. Once an equate has been declared, however, it remains with that definition to the end of the assembly unit. Here's another preprocessor command that should look familiar. This includes the text from another source file and assembles it just as if it had been included by the editor. The search for the file is made in the current directory plus any directory specified on the command line with the I option. A similar directive is the use directive. It can be used to declare sets of standard macros. More about this in the upcoming lessons on macros. Some other preprocessor commands that deal with macros are push and pop, so you can have special context for local labels. There are three stack relative preprocessing directives, arg, stack size, and local. They have to do with making function calls and passing and reading argument values on the stack. Now for the conditional assembly directives. You can use if to specify which lines of code are assembled. Else if and else are both optional in this example. You can have more than one else if clause, and there are negative operators. IFN means if not, and ELFIN means else if not. And there are other things that can be tested with an if. You can use if def and if and def to test whether a macro has been defined. And more than that, you can use the else if def and else if not def in the else positions of the conditional statement. But you need to know that these directives work only with single line macros. The assembler works differently with multi line macros, and there is only one test to check whether or not one has been defined. This is usually just a test to see whether it needs to be defined. Any of these tests can be used to generate messages. For example, if the single line macro lump is not defined, these directives will generate an error message. Now, if an error message is a bit too strong, you can simply issue a warning message and perhaps correct whatever was found to be wrong. If issuing an error is not strong enough, you can use fatal, which will issue the message and immediately halt the assembler. This can be handy if whatever is wrong could possibly cause a stream of errors and warnings to come out later. There are a few other preprocessor directives, but they're either very specialized or they're rarely used or both. Some of them will be shown to you in later examples, but these are the main ones. Let's wrap this up with a piece of special preprocessor syntax. If you have an environment variable and you want to include the contents of it in your assembled code, you can use a percent sign and an exclamation point. For example, say you have the environment variable block size set to this string, and you want to use that string value to set the size of a block. You could enter the declaration this way. The contents of the variable would be used and the result would be a declaration for the size you want. 